you look sharp in a lab coat? Would you like to use biology to improve people's lives? Are you fascinated by advancements in fields like nanotechnology, genetic engineering, and pharmaceuticals? If so, you might want to analyze whether you're well-cultured for a career as a biotechnologist. Biotechnologists use their knowledge of specialty areas, such as microbiology, biochemistry, and molecular genetics to create improved products and processes. They apply their skills in such diverse fields as agriculture, healthcare, and environmental conservation. We met with a biotechnologist working in Alberta who shared some data about this scientific career. Hi, my name is Michael and I'm a biotechnologist. Biotechnologist covers a lot of things. Generally, it's someone working in the field of developing new technology to use in biological sciences to try and improve different processes, uh, whether that's in industry or in healthcare. For example, they can be trying to develop new antibiotics, new vaccines, different drugs. So there's lots of opportunities in the field of biotechnology, depending on what you're interested in. So generally when I come in for the day, it'll be a quick review of what I have to do for the day. So I'll kind of make a checklist of which cells I have going and seeing how they're doing, how far along they've grown, and if I need to do anything to propagate their growth. Often my afternoons will comprise of different things, so whether it's analyzing data and preparing reports or other meetings with the rest of the teams. People in biotechnology field can work in a pretty wide range of industries. Uh, so that includes academic labs at the university, industry research labs, can also work in pharmacological labs and processing, manufacturing, and all sorts of fields. Depending on the field you work in, biotechnologists can have a, a range of different duties. Some of my duties include keeping our cells growing and intact, uh, storing them properly, cataloging all of our samples, designing experiments for our various projects, preparing data reports, analyzing data, and presenting them to the rest of the company. The skills you'll need as a biotechnologist are really critical thinking and the ability to learn new skills and process information. You also need curiosity and imagination and persistence is really important in science. Often your hours will be a little bit kind of fluid depending on what kind of day you're having or the type of process you're having. They may be pretty long hours in a given day or they may be a little bit shorter and it all kind of evens out. Depending on where you work and what kind of industry you work in, there may be some physical requirements. This can include standing in the lab for a long time while you work or sitting in a desk as you analyze data. Our work environment can vary quite a bit depending on where you're working. My particular lab, we work fairly by ourselves. There's only a few of us in the lab. Uh, where other biotechnology areas, you'll have very many scientists and biotechnologists working all in one space and it's very collaborative. Some of the challenges of biotechnology are um, sometimes the work can be fairly repetitive and often there are uh, tight deadlines that you have to meet. To get into biotechnology, you can have a lot of different types of backgrounds. Most biotechnologists will start with Bachelor of Science in uh, Biology or Environmental Sciences. To work in higher up positions, generally you'll need to have a Master of Science or a doctoral degree. A PhD is generally expected of biotechnologists that want to lead a group or teach at a post-secondary institute. If you want to advance in biotechnology, you could become an educator at a university, you could also move up into a head researcher position, or you can move up into a supervisory or management role. Biotechnologists can be involved in finding solutions for lots of different problems in society. I'm most proud at the end of the day of um, being able to work on a project that's gonna help someone in the long run. So right now we work on a lot of cancer diagnostics, particularly for cancers that are fairly untreatable or hard to detect right now. If you're interested in this career, I highly recommend it because it's a good place to grow. It's very stimulating. Uh, you can get to explore uh, science in a more kind of structured and everyday kind of way. The best part of my job is being able to think and work around problems in a, in a creative way and come up with different solutions. I find that really gratifying. This innovative career is perfect for someone with a curious mind and a willingness to work long hours, whether in a lab or out in the field. If you excel at coming up with inventive solutions to challenges, enjoy working with others, and like using precision equipment, you'll discover positive results being a biotechnologist. Why not put this career under a microscope 
and examine the training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. While you're there, do some research on related occupations, including biochemist, geneticist, and ecologist. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.